Today in the battle arena, we have the war between the apes. This war. Not these apes, but this guy, Kong versus Uzaru from Dragon Ball Z. Which ape is going to come out on top? Stay tuned to find out. Hey, what's up, guys? I am Drew, and this is Dan Code. Thank you so much for watching our channel and this video. If you enjoy this or videos you've seen in the past, make sure to subscribe to like and turn on the notification bell. Hey, quick stat. There is 80% of the people that are watching right now that are not subscribed. So if you enjoy this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also drop down in the comments and let us know other anime fights you guys want to see. All right, let's get to the fight. So let's get started by talking about the Golden Great Eight. So this guy comes from the series Dragon Ball GT, which isn't technically canon anymore, but we're going to use the information we can from GT. Also from Dragon Ball Z and other series is where we see the Great Apes. The Golden Ape also had the name Golden Uzaru. It's the Saiyan form that transforms into a huge, massive, powerful, and raging ape. The story goes that you can only stay Super Saiyan in the Great Ape form. And you have to have a tail to be able to reach this legendary form. And this is a story that's been told for thousands of years. Outside of this legend, we see Goku being the very first person to turn into the Golden Uzaru in Dragon Ball GT series. So with help from the Kais and the full earth he sees triggers his transformation into Golden Uzaru. So actually how powerful is Golden Uzaru? When Goku becomes a Golden Great Ape, he begins to rampage. He begins to tear through the city, forgetting who he is and being overtaken by this form. The original Great Ape form is said to be a 10 times multiplier. So if the Golden Ape form is supposed to be a multiplier, way much more powerful than this form, then that means he is mad strong. Well, since it's hard to like measure power levels from rampaging, we see baby Vegeta transform into the golden great ape as well. And he's able to control the powers. Goku transforms to Super Saiyan 4 and baby Vegeta turns into the golden great ape and begins to stomp Goku in his Super Saiyan 4 form. His speed is lightning fast. He's able to blast Kai beans from his mouth and from his fingertips. This form is short-lived in GT series, but some people believe that this is the truest and most powerful form of a Super Saiyan bloodline. Even mentions that this is stronger than Super Saiyan 4 itself. I've always actually seen Super Saiyan 4 form as the body hair, the eyes, the hair being like a tamed version of the Golden Uzaru form. The Golden Uzaru has a power to blast and destroy mountains and crumble the earth. We also see that Baby Vegeta beats down Super Saiyan 4 Goku with a quick punch. To scale their power, we look at the speed and the feats of Super Saiyan 4, or heck, even Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So if this is the kind of damage that Golden Uzaro is putting on Super Saiyan 4 Goku, then that, I don't know how you can get much stronger than that. Okay, so let's talk about Kong. Once ruler of the Skull Island and now taking his new reign on Earth, Kong is at the top of the list of Titans and has been and his fair amount of fights. So we've seen Kong go up against Godzilla. We've seen him go up against Mecha Godzilla. We've seen Kong go up against Skull Crawlers. We've seen him go up against mountains. We've seen him go up against skyscrapers. Kong is huge. We see him flip over warships. We see him body slam war bats. We see him fight Godzilla underwater and hold his own. Then in their big fight throughout the city, we see Kong get the upper hand multiple times against Godzilla and then eventually knocking him out with his battle axe. But that didn't last for long, but worth mentioning. We later see Kong and Godzilla team up to take out Mecha Godzilla, and the axe is actually what finishes him off. Kong is plenty strong. He's just not very durable. In Skull Island, he gets sliced up by helicopter blades. He gets annoyed by gunfire, which is not a big deal. But after each battle, we see the big guy in. We're going to see him lay down somewhere in exhaustion and be pretty beat up afterwards. Okay, take a nap right there then. Let's be honest. He's not wearing armor or anything to really protect him. He's just a big fleshy monkey. And being a monkey, the dude's super fast. He has the agility to move through tight places, to shake and bake through the buildings. Shake and bake! <laughs> yeah! To move around quick like this, whether to avoid tax or to charge someone, he's pretty quick for his size. His long arms and his legs give him the advantage to move quickly up skyscrapers and up different kind of areas. 
Those long arms and legs also help him in battle to keep other monsters far away or grabbing other monsters from a distance just to slam them. So the question is, would all of that be enough for Kong to beat Uzaru? And to be honest, I'm not sure. So we know that Godzilla's KO move is being able to make a nuclear blast from his mouth. The great ape Uzaru can do a similar thing. They can shoot blasts from their mouth, similar to the Kai attacks that Super Saiyans can do normally. Uzaru is also going to take the upper hand when it comes to speed. Whenever we see baby Vegeta fight in the golden ape form, he becomes way more skilled. He's more intelligent than the other types of great apes. It's not just another rage or rampage. He actually has the Dragon Ball Z moves where they just blink and they're in another place and it goes to another place and you don't see how fast they're moving because their eyes can't keep up with it. That's the type of speed that we're talking about that Uzaru has. And not just talking about his speed, the dude's powerful. He lands some big hits against Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He almost destroys the Earth with a Super Gallic gun blast, and that's planet busting levels. While Kong is actually a good bit bigger than Uzaru in size, just by comparison of people in their hands, I don't think it's going to be enough when it comes to strength. Uzaru also outpowers Super Saiyan 4 Goku multiple times, and then when we see Vegeta come back to his right mind and Baby is destroyed, Vegeta turns into the giant ape, but while he's just a regular giant ape, he holds Super Saiyan 4 Goku still without not being able to move. So here's the thing, Kong is going to fight with every single thing that he's got to his final breath, but I just don't think everything that Kong has is going to be enough to beat Uzaru. So today, the Golden Grape 8 Uzaru wins. Hey, but what do you think? Make sure to sound off in the comments below. Who do you think wins this battle? Is it Kong or is it Uzaru? Also to mention what other anime fights you want to see in the future and be sure to subscribe to like this video and turn on notifications so you can see more videos like this every week and I'll see y'all next time. Hey, what's up? Thank you for sticking around. If you're still watching, waiting for more content, you are in luck today. We have more content for you. Dan and I have started a TikTok page and we've already been releasing Battle Arena videos over on TikTok. So if you want to see more videos, make sure to follow us at Danco underscore YT. We already have the Infinity Stone Ultron versus Gold Amazo there. We have Dark Doctor Strange versus Scarlet Witch, King Kong versus King Ghidorah, and a few other ones that you haven't seen yet because we didn't put it here on YouTube. We have it on TikTok. So if you want to see more content from Danco, you can find us at Danco underscore YT right there on TikTok.